brought to you with the Golden Tyre 201, the ultimate 50-50 adventure tyre. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the 201, click on the link in the description below. Last time on Races to Places, Lyndon saw how the locals travel, plenty of sightseeing happened, and Lucas's bike broke down again. up with the boys in Deshambi, where they're eagerly awaiting the delivery of Lyndon's new Delorme satellite tracking device, allowing people to follow his exact route on racestoplaces.com. The bicycle career is here. So, right, guys. Hey. Hello. How are you? Hey. I'm Lyndon. It's all right. Nice to meet you. I'm Hello. Lucas. Nice to meet you. Hello. You have a very important package for me, I understand. Yes. Yes, surely. Ah, oh, the, magical, the magical Delorme. I have the tracker back now. People will know where I am. Next, they come across a local motorbike shop where the owner has valuable local information about riding through the Tajikistan mountains. You see, it's a Bahram homestay yeah, yeah. with a price, with a hotel, uh, just for. Where is this market? Uh, is this here near Korok? It's Korok. Korok? Here this is Korok. Sorry? Market. The market is only on Saturday. Where no? is the market? The Ishkandar or something. Where is the market? Ishkashim. Yeah, Ishkashim. Maybe this is it. This is where you can cross the border without an Afghanistan permit, no? As you can see, the bike choice that they go for is uh, very different here. That's Andrew on the right-hand side, the motor mechanic, and Farhad on the left-hand side. The local guy does a lot of riding in the Pamirs and has offered all his help. It's really good of him. Even on the Chinese bike in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. Look at that. And this is the guard dog. Armed with knowledge of the area and the location of a market, the boys head to pick up supplies, allowing Lucas to fit his new stator generator, hopefully making his bike reliable again. Doing some negotiating, Lucas. Okay. Doing some negotiating, what are you buying? Soldering iron, solder, flux, batteries. All for it, and the whole package price for the whole thing is $6. $6 for everything. Made in China. Very good. Hardware shop in the Market Street, look. Yeah, let's go for a little walk down the market. We've got all these little hardware stores look, with like potato peelers and everything else. Hello. Hello, Sean. Very good. And you can get, you can buy new gloves. Riding in, can buy paint bushes, scissors. Yeah, we've got everything here. TV remote controls. Very good. Fires, scissors, torches. It's all good. In the market. It's country info time. Tajikistan is landlocked, meaning it has no surrounding ocean. Nestled between Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan to the north and the west, China to the east and Afghanistan to the south. Tajikistan is home to some of the highest mountains in the world, including the Pamir and Alay ranges. 93% of Tajikistan is mountainous, with altitudes ranging from 300 meters to 7,500 meters. The mountains give rise to many glacier-fed streams and rivers, which have been used to irrigate farmlands since ancient times. The massive mountain ranges are cut by hundreds of canyons and gorges, carved by a myriad of streams that flow into larger river valleys, where the majority of the country's population lives and works. The country's top three exports are raw aluminium, raw cotton and lead ore. The temperature throughout the country can range from minus 20 in January to plus 30 in July. Finally, the time has come for the dynamic duo to part company. While Lucas repairs his bike, Lyndon will head off and tackle the epic Tajikistan mountain ranges solo. Just in the little uh, shop here. This good lady is just getting me some bread. Quick stop now at the shop for some lunch and time for tea and biscuits. Just stopped at this little garage here to 
grease my nipple on my shock linkage. It's unclear when Lyndon will see Lucas again, but he decides to treat Basil to a wash before his ascent up into the mountains. Like any solo adventure rider, Lyndon has to accept the risks of travelling alone. And you can be sure they will always be on his mind over the days ahead. Lyndon sets off to the west to hit his first trail, then heads south into the mountains. Eventually, the trail runs out, and Lyndon has to make the hard decision to turn back but not before taking time to reflect on his recent ride. Yesterday I rode south from Istarashan in Tajikistan, uh, all the way over a huge mountain pass, um, 3,920 meters. Uh, so getting on for 10,000 feet, yeah more, 12,000 feet. And uh, truly amazing scenery, really good. Nobody on the trails at all. And then I continued over the pass all the way down the other side of the mountain to uh, the Zarafshan stroke Matcha River. Huge, powerful river carving its way through the mountains. Uh, and I basically followed that river all the way west, right the way across the country really, towards the western border, which is now closed, the western border crossing. Continued all the way across west to a place called Panjikent and uh, it was then coming dark so I tried to find somewhere to camp around there. Uh, then I headed south and that's where I followed this river, the river Kashtut. Followed the river Kashtut all the way up into the mountains here um, where I knew of some lakes that were up here. Basically there's a concession of seven lakes, first lake, second lake, third lake, starting at around about 1500 meters I think, so around about 4,500 feet and then working all the way up to here probably like 7,000, 8,000 feet. Really beautiful being out here on my own, it's so idyllic, it's just like, I don't know, you just sit and watch the world go by and then get back on your bike, go ride some more. What more could I ask for? I probably could ask for one of my mum's big Sunday roasts. I really miss that. So I'd really like, Mum, if you see this, I would like a Sunday lunch, please. I would like a cold beer now, but there's no bars up here. Funny, I don't drink beer normally, but I've taken a bit of a liking to it since I started coming on this trip. Uh, it's nice to have just one cold beer at the end of a long day. All right, I think that's enough for now. I'm just your Craziest thing. This is the craziest thing I have done so far on this trip. Races to places. Whoa, that's cold. Whoa. Yes, awesome. Races to places! Oh, I can't remember the last time I jumped into anything as cold as that. Oh! My goodness me. That's cold. Oh! That. Ah! Was cold. But. <laughs>
brought to you with the Golden Tire 201, the ultimate 50-50 adventure tire. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the 201, click on the link in the description below.